tonight on the news hour. The painting bought for peanuts at a yard sale turns out to be worth a small fortune. The case of the disappearing gates. Scrap metal thieves now targeting fences near you. And the tweet that launched a war of words all over the Canucks' loss to the Kings last night. Live from Global British Columbia, the News Hour with Deborah Hope. Good evening, and we begin with a story guaranteed to warm the heart of every garage sale junkie in the province. It's about a painting snapped up at a local sale for next to nothing that turns out to be the work of a major artist and worth a small fortune. The painting in question was done by Tom Thompson, associated with the original Group of Seven, and it will soon make its new owner a great deal of money. Ramina Dea has our top story. The saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And in the case of one BC resident, he hit the lottery at a recent yard sale. It's probably the highlight of my career so far. It's, uh, you know, it's an unknown Tom Thompson. And let alone, it's an unknown Tom Thompson that was found in a yard sale in East Vancouver. The buyer, who wants to remain anonymous, had the painting appraised at Maynard's Auction House. The director of Canadian Art says the buyer is not an expert or an art teacher. He just made an impulse buy for about 50 bucks. Thompson, we have it in for 150 to 200 thousand dollars, but it could go as high as 600 thousand, a million dollars. Thompsons have gone as high as two million dollars. In the art world, Tom Thompson is considered an icon, credited with inspiring the group of seven Canadian artists who initiated the first major national art movement in this country back in the early 1900s. There's a T, an O, an M. Yeah, you can see it. It took up to and 10 Thompson experts from across eight. Canada to verify this painting's authenticity, which was done at the height of Thompson's career, two years before his mysterious death. There is a consensus um, among the people that have seen it and do think that it is authentic and they believe that it is spring, summer, 1915. And the way that they tell that, I'm told, is because of the palette and handling. Because there's no foreground in this painting, uh, we can assume that he was painting it from his canoe. Um, I'm not sure which lake it was, but it was definitely Algonquin Park. For another 50 bucks, the buyer also bought this 1901 Fred Varley at the same yard sale. The original group of seven painting is worth four to six thousand dollars. The seller had no idea he was sitting on Canadian history. My advice is that if you have something and you don't know what it's worth, to bring it to us and show it to us. I'm happy to take a look. I would have done the same process for anyone who would have brought this painting into us. Both paintings will be auctioned off May 16th in Vancouver. Well.